Hey, it's Red and Goat here, and today I'm going to showcase and demonstrate how an iterator works in Java, and I'm going to discuss what it's used for and what we can do with it. So first, what is an iterator? An iterator is an object that allows us to iterate through something that's iteratable, for example, an array list, and we then able to go through each element one by one and look at them. And more often, in the newer versions of Java, we would actually use iterators when it comes to files, Often when loading in files, we load the file in as something that's iteratable. And we then iterate through the file and then get all the components or the strings or whatever's in this file. But I have this setup where I have an array list called names containing strings. I then add four names to my array list. I then create an iterator object. And again, telling it our object we're going to be iterating through with strings. We then get the iterator from our array list. And we then simply call this method on our ArrayList to return the iterator. And what the iterator contains is, if we actually just have a look at the that iterator method, what's very important and interesting about this iterator, so this is inside the ArrayList, we call the iterator method, then return the new iterator. It's kind of like a class of this iterator component. And what's very, very important is we're looking at a cursor. So we're looking at index of the next element. And we also have an index of the last element. Returned. So we kind of keep track at where are we now and what's the next element, which is kind of the main content of this iterator. So what's often used with an iterator is a while loop, where we simply do name iterator dot has next. So as long as we have a next object, a next string in this case, we simply print this next string, which is the name. So how it would work, we start looking, we start being at the position of outside our elements. So this is our current position and our next position is going to be Liam. So when we're here, we simply check, does our name iterator have a next string? It does because we've got Liam. So we then call this print line, name iterator dot next. And when calling dot next, we returns the next string and remove move this cursor so we're pointing at a current position to be now Liam. We then again do has next. Does Liam has a next object? We've got Olivia. We then call next. We then returns Olivia and move the cursor to Olivia. We then again checks does our iterator has next. So do we have a string after Olivia? We've got Noah. We then call name iterator next. Return Noah set current position to Noah. We then check, does our name iterator that has next, we got Emma, we call next, we then returns Emma, and put our current position to Emma, we then check for the last time, does Emma have a next object, it does not, and we then stop the while loop. So as you can see and understand, we're simply going through each of the elements and we have a position, a next position, and then as long as we have more objects in this iterator list, we keep going. When we're at the end, we stop. And just using it straight up like this is what you might see is actually suggested by IntelliJ as well that we can actually replace this with that enhanced for each loop where we simply go through each of the elements. But it's more or less the same. But it's this concept of the iterator, and as mentioned, it's mostly at least what I've been using it for. What Java is used for when we're actually iterating through files. And other than a basic iterator, we also have something called a list iterator, which is more or less the same. So then we wouldn't call iterator, we would call list iterator. And it works the same in the way that we can go through our elements. So what that's different from just a basic iterator is that we can move backwards. And this allows us to do another while loop. We can do name iterator dot has previous and then simply print this my print line name iterator dot previous. So now we're moving at the current position as just we just went through, going through each element, checking if we have a next element. We hit then here at Emma at the end. And we should then be able to move backwards. And we then get the four elements, Liam, Olivia, and Noah. Emma, and then again, Emma, Noah, Olivia, Liam. So using this, we can technically just move back and forward between our lists. 
But that is the main concept of our iterator and then also our list iterator in Java, which allows us to iterate through something that's iteratable like an array list. But if you enjoyed this quick showcase of the iterators in Java, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.